up here on Mauna Loa, we've been at increased level for a couple of years of seismicity, and every now and then we have one of these big earthquake swarms where we start having hundreds of earthquakes um, over the course of a day. And so we had one of these swarms start last Friday. And uh, it was you know, not enough, we're not concerned about an eruption happening right now um, based on the swarm as it is right now, but it's an indication that yes, magma is accumulating, uh, there's activity there, eventually Mauna Loa will erupt. Uh, we don't think anything is going to happen right now, but we're watching it very carefully because when it does erupt, it could go with very short notice. Uh, so we're watching these with great interest, and you the, may have seen the information statements that we put out in civil defense, redirect some of those as well. Um, and this is just an article, you know, the last time it erupted was 84, but it's certainly stirring. Uh, these are the earthquake swarms of the last three years. It's elevated, and then last spring we had kind of a surge. Um, and we were working with civil defense and IEMA getting ready in case something happened, nothing happened. Earlier this year we had one, we had one earlier this summer, and then this is the one that we're in right now. And then this is a close-up view of the earthquakes beneath Mauna Loa over the last couple of weeks. You can see it go up. We're seeing it come down over the last couple of days, but it hasn't gone all the way back down yet. Um, so we're, we're watching this. Uh, Mauna Loa eruptions usually begin at the summit, um, and there's usually a significant increase in seismicity, much more than what I just showed. Um, but again, the onset could be quick. Um, so we're watching that. Um, damaging flank earthquakes, again, could happen at, at any time. And during, before the last two Mauna Loa eruptions, months before, we actually had very large earthquakes. And then finally, we have an earthquake swarm occurring deep, deep beneath the island. It's not directly connected to the magma chambers of Mauna Loa or Kilauea. Um, but people feel these, and we had a 4.2 this afternoon. So if anybody felt that earthquake, it was associated with this deep hollow event.